West Expansion Consolidated Gravity Drainage District Board meeting call to order for May 4, 2017. You don't mind saying the invocation? Bow hand. Dear Lord, bless this committee here to make the right decision for the Sanctum Parish. And dear Lord, all, all the rain we have, just make sure everyone gets here safe, sound, and uh, make sure their home is uh, dry. Oh Lord, also bless the armed forces service members who protect us and give us the freedom, especially the freedom of speech. Oh Lord, thank you. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Let's take a roll call. I can see our attorney not here. I can also see uh, Mr. Ron Savard, his dad has an operation, and I uh, haven't gotten any word. Craig, you guys have any words that his father is doing okay? Yeah, he said he's doing okay. Oh. So yeah, he's coming along to the show. All right. Okay, and Mr. Bill Rue uh, informed me he had an emergency and he couldn't be here. So, you know, once again, when uh, that you move. All right. Uh, accepting the minute of uh, April 6, 2017. Motion. Motion. Second. Minute is accepted. Item number uh, four is uh, agreement with the city of Johnsonville. And Mr. Bill Rue is not here. And once again, they're working on that. Go, Mr. Moose Pierce, want to input on that? Um, I talked with Aunt Ron today. She sent me, uh, you know, maybe on some of the some of these items. So I'm gonna just read off what you know he mm -hmm. gave to us. He said uh, that we may need additional manpower on this agreement. Um, uh, they currently have seven employees doing drainage work. Normally, one on the road and one off the road job at a time in the parish limit. And uh, also, we'll purchase materials for the jobs within the city limits to cover the driveway in place, limestone and seal. So he just kind of made that along for that. Mm -hmm. That would be some of the items that he would request in right. that agreement. Mm -hmm. Okay, most, well, we are having, Mr. Bill Rue would like to have a meet with me and Bill Dawson next week on this issue, because we definitely have to give the city some update on that. And once again, the city is waiting for us to give them our input so they can review it and then give us their input on it. So that's the status, they waiting on us. Uh, item number five, uh, 11th Street and Highway one drainage issue, uh, Craig, on that on that issue, Oliver, well, we clean a lot of the uh, debris out the ditch, out of, along the railroad track mm -hmm. and stuff. And I tried to get in touch with one of the railroad guys. I didn't, but I got in touch with him today, and he really didn't know nothing about that. You know the parish that we were talking about. He was working on the one across from the bank, so he told me that uh, he gonna get with his maintenance guy. He gonna give me a call because I tried to set up a, a beat with him so he could see exactly what we're talking about. All right, thanks, and, please. If y'all want to, if we do wind up doing this, it's like the railroad servitude, not the parish servitude. So you think they'll come out there and look at it with us. Okay. All right. You got all moved to where the old Nazi was? Well, we got right there, uh, and we need a different machine to get it right up again. Mr. Delaney, we definitely will have to appear on your, on your issues, please. <laughs> All right, Mr. Delaney, I know you're concerned, but we, as soon as we get down, uh, I'll be calling you up. All right, <laughs> All right Highway 18, moving on to Highway 18 to Highway 3120, drainage issue. Mr. Ron Savard, Savard not here again. Moose, you got it? Yeah, um, they, we had a meeting with DOTD 
and CF and the parish provided a survey to, uh, to show the problem. And uh, an agreement was reached with DOTD, and uh, they would dig the north side of the ditch on, on 18 cross drain, on to cross drain on 321, and CF uh, um, would purchase the culverts needed and install them in the DOT work zone at the time of the digging. And it was also agreed that CF will uh, dig and reestablish the outfall ditches on the west side of the Riverdale property to Highway 70, where they can just go and, and have that drainage all the way to 70. So that meeting went along good, and uh, that should be taken care of. And what's, good. what's the schedule for that? I don't know the schedule on it, but... Uh, can you find that out and bring it back to us? Yeah, I'll get the schedule on that. Yeah, um, Mr. Dawson brought a good point, uh, most, and I guess everything else. Uh, we definitely going to need some more input on uh, scheduling, what the status of all these things, uh, more uh, more information and more specific on these projects, because now this rainfall and grass season, people start that specifics. specific. That, you know, we can get to it, ain't good enough tomorrow. So I'm going to be requesting that also. Uh, item uh, seven is uh, West of St. Jim Master Drainage Plan, Mr. Bill Rue. Uh, I spoke to him again, and uh, once again, uh, after this recent flood, uh, this pour down rain, uh, me and Bill will be getting with him with the landowners to look at this master plan and the city of Downsville and the public. This got to be a all hands on deck to know what's going on on the west side of the river now. This is bad, this rainfall, this, this uh, waterfall, raining and all that, we have to get more involved in this as a whole. Item number eight, St. James Assumption Drainage Update, Mr. Moose Pierce. Okay, uh, I spoke to the, to the engineer, and he's got that uh, one part of the uh, model complete, and he's doing another a model to a dredging, dredging model to submit to the Corps. He thinks that should be done about June, uh, first part of June, first couple of weeks in June. There was some concern about the delay on it, and uh, they had they had put in the application, and the application was withdrawn because not enough information. Uh, they needed clarity regarding purpose, need, and alternatives, and that's what this is for. We, when you and uh, Bill pushed for this to happen, uh, we had that meeting with that engineer, as y'all recall, and they uh, are going to do a uh, hydraulic hydrology study and submit it to the Corps for uh, for approval. And once that starts, uh, once that gets done, then they'll have to go from there to you know to mitigation and construction and stuff. Yeah. Am I reading this email wrong? You know, what I'm, what I'm reading here, it says in, in August of 2015, they had these, uh, these four things that need to be done, and that the application, it says, was withdrawn. So we, we don't have an application for a permit. How, what, what are we working on? They, um, they, from what the engineer was telling us, he This is from the Corps, isn't it? Yeah, this is from the Corps. What does it say? It says the application was withdrawn. withdrawn. Right. This is day to day. Well. It's not, it was sent to us today. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in August 20, as of today, that there's no application for a permit. They, they're going to Do I read that incorrectly? No. So we don't have an application for a permit. What, what are we doing any work? They, they're going to have to, they're going to have to put in the application with the, with the, with the drawings and stuff, with the hydraulic. Well, why, why didn't we take care of these four things that, that they had in August of 2015? I wasn't aware of this. I thought you were following this. No, I'm, I was following it when we pushed it together in 2000 and, and this year. Well, this has been since 2000, August of 2015. I, I wasn't on this project. Well, I know this, this been, did you just find this out in, in May of 2017, but you've been on it for over a year. I've been on it since about midway 2016 we've been asking them to give us some information on that and to and to give us what they needed and that's when they came with the they needed a hydraulic and hydrology study 
We presented well, that to I don't to really them. understand why we're doing a study when we don't even have a permit application. I'm, I'm sure they, they, they got reasons to, to get this hydraulic study to move forward. That's what they're telling me. That's what the engineer is telling me. Well, well, I don't know what they're telling you, but this is from the Corps. you got four items here. None of them say a, a hydraulic uh, study. And they say that these things weren't completed and the permit has, application has been withdrawn. When when you need, I'm not. When you need clarity regarding purpose, need and alternative, and you, and you need drawings, specific project project information drawings. When then you gotta you gotta show that. I don't understand. We don't have a permit. permit. What are we doing this? For? What are we doing this for? If we don't have a permit application, what are we doing this for? The engineer told me they were doing that all in conjunction with the same. Well, I don't know. I think the engineer is taking advantage of. It. Well, what do we do? We just pay in we Saint just pay in them. That St. James has contracted the engineers. We just well, I mean, we, we should be. This them. came from the Corps. That's who we should be dealing with to get these permits. Right. We should be. We just no. helping it as y'all. I don't know. Y'all, no. y'all alluded to earlier in this year, and supported them to uh, do this hydraulic study to, to help. I would them have them them never them. done that if we didn't. If we knew we knew didn't we have a drawing. permit application. And this, it, I'm Bill, and I, I hate to interrupt you. Because I'm, 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 I mean, I know the city won't get up on this issue because it uh, definitely affects their, their constituents. And after yesterday, I mean, I'm highly, highly upset with it because just a week ago, by maybe about a week ago, when, when we had to meet with the Corps of Engineers, about two weeks, maybe. Two and we weeks. asked for an update on this application. And they gave me a call the other day and told me it was withdrawn. And I'm like, what you mean? So, once again, we are dealing with the, the, the council, I mean, uh, uh, parish of uh, uh, St. James, and they've been asking us for to help them and assist us and ask us for financial, and we've been doing this, but they never say the application was withdrawn, had expired, never. And I know the mayor out there, and he won't speak. Mayor, you can speak next after I'm get through. But he have never heard it because we have always told them we are working with St. James and we are giving them money to do stuff. And come to find out, at the last minute we get a big rain again. And I can't justify telling the public we're working on a project that it don't exist. Now, the constituents, my constituent, the city, everybody on the West Bank is upset. They need to be. Because we failed. We failed. We didn't follow up. We didn't get details. We got stories. I'm just as much as fault as anybody else. But if you're not outraged, you need to be outraged on this issue. We're in a non, I mean, uh, 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 we're not in the flood dis uh, uh, area. And I'm getting houses flooded with nine inches of rain. August, it was 14 inches of rain. Nine inches a day. They can't live like this. We have to do a better job in following up on details. And that's why the public is upset all the time. They put our trust in us and administration, and we do a half blank job. Mr. Mayor, you can come up and speak. Good evening. And uh, I have two of my councilmen here. Uh, I know y'all meeting is, is very uh, time limited. But I, I, first of all, I'd like to ask a question. I just say that the uh, permit was withdrawn. Uh, who withdrew it and why, do y'all know? Insufficient information. They never submitted the rest of the information. Okay. The core, the core withdrew it. The, the core withdrew it because they didn't get the information they needed in order for it to go on. One of the things that, that, that I want to say is, is uh, you know, and I'm the mayor for the city of Downsville, elected official, so I know how, how it goes and we all get beat up. But we need to stop the, uh, uh, the mayor go around. We're just going around and around and around and around. Uh, uh, Councilman Jones, you get information you give to me, and we think that we're going somewhere, and then we back where we started from. We have people that have uh, 
uh, change the flooring in their home, had to gut out uh, different parts of their home, uh, fight with FEMA, fight with this one, fight with that one. We had the, the flood back in, what, August of last year. And then uh, yesterday, uh, phone is blowing up because the same people are having the same issue with the threat of water getting in their homes. Uh, we have Mr. Melvin Davis here that I think just finished uh, changing out the flooring in his home, and now he yesterday had the fear of it getting back, and I think he may have gotten a little bit of water in his home. My, but my thing is, I know that we having to deal with St. James Parish, and I think that uh, the, uh, the two of you were in a meeting with when I uh, with St. James, and I was in that meeting when the uh, parish president said he wasn't in a hurry about doing anything with the St. James Canal because he didn't want to dump the water on his constituents. Well, if it's done right, it won't be dumping water on his constituents because it had worked for hundreds of years, but here we have people uh, in the last few years that have, have gotten water into their homes, that it, areas that never flooded in over 40 years. And now, every time there's a threat of rain, everybody has to go. You have to get sandbags and, and uh, do all of this stuff. So it's, it's an issue that needs to be addressed, need to be fixed now. Uh, I, I can tell that both of y'all are outraged and need to be. We are too because we have to stop uh, treating uh, the people like as if they're second-class citizens and whatever, uh, you know, we can just say this and then they're going to be all right. Then the next ring we have to tell them something else. Let's stop pacifying the people and let's come to a solution. I know it's not all on you. I understand that. But at the same time, I think that the, the, the parish of Ascension have to, have to push harder in order for this uh, situation to be resolved. I talked to you yesterday, Councilman uh, uh, Joseph, and I was like, look, file an injunction. Do something. Let the people know that we are working to try to get this thing resolved because uh, Mr. Davis don't want to hear it's St. James. You know, my sister don't want to hear it's St. James. You know, anybody that, that, that have had a problem with flooding, you know, in the past several years that never had to worry about it before, they don't want to hear that it's another parish that's where the water is being held up. But we have to make sure that we do everything possible in order to move this thing forward and, and let's, let's stop the, the, uh, the uh, political uh, uh, show that is going on right now. Like, like Councilman Dawson said, you know, uh, this has been going on since 2015 and here it is, 2017, and uh, nothing has happened and the court uh, withdraws the, uh, the permit, uh, basically denies it, though it kicks it out because uh, they didn't have sufficient evidence. I think that uh, this needs to be uh, an emergency. It is, and I think that uh, the parish of Ascension needs to look into it from a legal standpoint and see what can be done in order to try to speed up the process. Okay. Mr. Delaney? And another thing, almost all of these issues on here affect the city of Downsville, so we just want to make sure that, that uh, and I know that y'all do understand that, that uh, this is something that we need to, we need to get uh, resolved and resolved quickly. I mean, I'd like to maybe clarify one thing. Yes, that, sir. That it wasn't because of lack of evidence, it was because of lack of response on our part. Okay. Okay. And, and once again, the applicant didn't respond to these four these four items that they that they, the core said in 2015, this is what we need to move forward. The applicant didn't respond, and so the permit was withdrawn. It wasn't the core. Right. right. Okay. And 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 with that I'm being said, them one time, but <laughs> yes. But and with that being said, shame on uh, whoever or uh, uh, the the parties that were supposed to get this information to the Corps of Engineers and didn't do it. And that's St. James. They are the they are the applicants the one who applied in the applicant. And they just, we are working with them just like a right. is working with them. Man. Uh -huh. Sometimes only uh, the court can settle some of these things. I, uh, by the end of the day, that that's going to probably happen. I, I have another question to pertain to that. You know, we, we talked before about uh, the water going towards St. James, but now uh, the, the water that's going, that can go through the field over here to, to offer 308 to 
uh, volume of the fish. That should be like a leaf or a bypass. And I went back there yesterday again, and where the, the little dam is, it was, you had more water on the city side than what was on the Bayou side. So I'm thinking that held up some water also uh, for the people back in town. You know, and, 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 and we're going to address that one there too, Mr. Delaney. Um, mm -hmm. I went out there my, myself and I see they did, uh, took down a lot of the small dams mm -hmm. and they put one big dam. That big dam. Is, right. Yeah. And yeah, uh, exactly. everyone thought that might work, but me and Mr. Bill Dawson is looking at right now is trying to get a, 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 some type of a gate that we would control. And he still okay. would be able to so provide the water for his thing, but we would control. take it out of his control. Right. Sound like a plan. So uh, once again, uh, yes, we are looking at that. We done tried every other way. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to. Because that would help. Yes, sir. All right. Sir. All right. We got one more. Mr. Reginald Francis, City Council. I just got one, one question uh, pertaining to that dam on also. The canal itself, isn't that a natural drainage canal? In, in, my legal is not here, but because this side of the river does not have a major drainage plan that we adopt those canals that we must maintain and we have the, the rights to maintain them and, and do with waterway, we do not have that. And um, that become a legal issue. Right. On. So we, we don't have that, then now we are working with that major uh, drainage plan, and now, now we see we're going to have to designate certain canals a whole lot quicker than when we did before working on this. That's all I can tell you right now. Yeah. But it's yeah. a legal issue, and, I, and as long as we're going to foot the bill, once we identify and we foot the bill, then that's a different story. Really. Okay. My, my thinking is, the reason I said it, because this canal, there's a bridge built over it by the, the state. Right. To me, the state is going to build a bridge over a canal. It, to, it seems like it should be a major drainage its canal. No, it, it, believe me, it don't work that way. As, you, as we know, the state only covers exactly what the right of way they got, and that's it. Once they leave their boundary, they leave it up to the next jurisdiction of the okay. house. And also, just pertaining to that, as everybody said before, part of the flooding is in my district. I know. That. Had never, ever flooded before until, I'm not saying positively this is the cause, but since that dam was there, had never, ever. We need to do something about it. Thank you. Can I say something right quick? Mr. Go ahead, Mayor. Okay. Oh, no, this is not city council. You used to have in your way. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, on the uh, the uh, the uh, dam that they have to uh, to be able to hold the water back so they can irrigate the uh, the uh, side, and and we understand that we we are not trying to stop them from uh, from uh, having their business, but the, at the same time, and I heard y'all say they maybe put uh, a valve in where y'all will have control of it, and I and I'm no engineer, uh, but it seems like to me that they could easily take and put some type of uh, lever transmitter on the backside of that dam with, a, with a, an actuator that when that lever got to a certain height on the backside of it that it automatically would open up and release the water. What we're depending on now is uh, them saying, oh, it's, it's enough rain, we need to open it up, or me saying, like yesterday, uh, Councilman Joseph, can you call them and get them to open it up, and you have to go and do it. You shouldn't have to do that with all the stuff that, that's going on and so uh, maybe they need to put, do a little uh, research and work and, and to come up with something where we're not depending upon uh, man to, to, to go out and, and do it, where it's something that would automatically happen. And I think, because a lot of times what happens is it's, it's too late. By the time they do open it up, there's so much water that have backed up that it, it's not doing any good. Yes, sir. Um, Mia, that's what we're going to, we, that's our plan now. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, moving on. I look. I, I well, see where we're going to go with that. Oh, I'm sorry, but I got one more over there. Oh, Mr. I'm sorry. Mr. Davis okay. called uh, me yesterday. Mr. Davis, you have anything? Are you satisfied with what direction we? I'm very pleased. All right. 
the direction you're going right now, but along with it takes to resolve the problem. Now, Mr. Davis, we, this what the next motion about to be, be filed right now. Okay. Um, Bill, you probably gonna have to make the motion. I can't make it, but if, would you file that we file a uh, injunction on St. James regarding this uh, waterway by your Napoleon? That um, I'd like to take a step before that, okay, and just let's just get some verification with the core about you know we have one email. I'd like to get verification from the core of what the what the actual problem was and if there's a remedy here that, that we can work within before before we go to some type of legal action, if that's if that's okay. We can do that, you know, we should be able to do that fairly quickly. Mayor, I then make the motion based on the information that we get from the court, then we will file legal action. We will be uh, authorized to file uh, legal action to uh, alleviate the problems with the drainage after a meeting with the with the core and, and other parties. Uh, I second that motion. No objection. Motion follows through. Ms. Pagan, we we'll we'll get with get, you on that. All right, Ms. Pagan? We need to get, uh, I don't know, is it Bill or uh, Ken or somebody in the administration that set up the meeting with the core for us? And, uh, you know, obviously as quickly as possible. And if I'm, you don't mind, Mayor, I don't know if the city council, if once we follow you, y'all would be following with a resolution or something supporting us on behalf of that? Yes, I was just telling uh, Councilman Francis to remind me on okay. Tuesday that we can uh, pass a resolution in support of uh, the West Ascension drainage uh, district following our uh, injunction or doing whatever they need to do in order to resolve. Would you guys like to attend the meeting with the core? Would you like to have a representative yes, at sir. the meeting? Okay. Well, we're going to have them then. So let's uh, request the administration to set up a meeting as soon as possible with the core and include uh, a representative from the city of Dawsonville at the at the mayor's wish. Um, yeah, most they can be here, Dawsonville, St. James, wherever, New Orleans. We'll we'll make it there to figure out what the problem, how we're going to solve this problem. All right, moving on to item number um, nine. And that's drainage issue along Highway 1. The state came by and talked to us. And I know we did put a request in for that. Uh, you don't know the status of it yet for them uh, on Highway 1. No. OK. Craig, if you don't mind getting uh, an update on that from the state, you are wrong. All right. Item number uh, 10 is the drainage issue between the Fernanda and Cotton Drive. Mr. Ron Savoy. Uh, a lot of city met with all the landowners involved with the request, and unfortunately, uh, Larry Fernandez and his brothers had decided not to move forward with this request. He said at this time, we are unable to get servitude or reach an agreement. We uh, used hand labor to clean uh, what we could at that location. All right. Just want at to that get location. That's, that's what he's saying. All right. That's all we know, I've been, we've been working on this project now for about uh, three years, and as of right now, we don't have a corporation with uh, the land on so. Okay. Right. All right. Item number 11, uh, Catawba Street drainage update. Before you get on that most, I got Mr. Charlie Dempsey. Uh, he represents the Dempsey uh, Funeral Homes, and he go through this just like everybody else every time it rains. Mr. Dempsey? I, I I'm sorry when I say Mr. Dempsey. Dempsey. Okay. Dempsey. Right. Dempsey. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Uh, I got an inv invitation uh, to Mr. Delaney uh, just to come and show support for the Port Barry area. I mean, I'm a former resident of Port Barry. I now live on Market Street, which, which God blessed me to do this. But I, we, I'm part owner of the, the funeral home, Dempsey and Son, and we've been there for 60 years, guys. And I'm 54 years old. And best of my recollection, there, there's never been that much flooding uh, in that area that surrounds uh, the old Lori campus in the past 15 years. And part of my belief is that the water that's coming off the, the campus, a very large city block, is draining toward LA-1 North, which, which before it gets there, West Knight, 
uh, Funeral Home and other residents right there. They're getting all, the, all this water coming off the campus. And if you look at it, you drive around the, the, that old campus, you got proper coverage on uh, inside and outside the fence line on West 7th Street. Yeah. On Catalyst Street, you got a few. On West 7th, you got proper coverage. I mean, they covered, you know, concrete coverage. But on Catalyst Street, there's about four outside the fence line. On West Night, you have zero. It's just an open ditch. And then on Martin Luther King, you, you may have one little small drainage. And to me, again, I'm not a scientist and everything else, Mr. Jones, but that much water coming off that campus is going to overflow the ditch and then onto the streets and then to the residents. So that's my observation. And you can tell by going and look at the campus today where all the uh, debris is in the ditches. The water is draining that way, and you don't have the proper coverage to handle that flow of water. So it's overflowing coming into the building. So. Um. But I'm here to support you guys, the city and the parish, as far as uh, coming up with solutions, not here to complain. Well, Mr. Dempsey, I got one question to ask you. In the last, I would say the last five years, how many times your uh, place uh, got water into it? Well, we, we had the major flood back in August of uh, 2016. A lot of people may not realize it. As far as the east, uh, the, the entire parish, but I, I, I work on both sides of the river. And they're really surprised that we flooded right. on the on the west bank. And they, don't even, they didn't realize it, but anyway, we flooded uh, about six inches of water in uh, August 2016. Prior to that, maybe once we got a little water to come in, just just a little overflow, and that was mostly from the, the vehicle traffic uh, pushing the water in. But uh, since then, you know, you got your, the the, the new the health unit that's. Uh, was built in that new medical clinic. And it just, to me, that specifically, specific area around the campus is that needs to be, what needs to be addressed mm -hmm. specifically in that area. Um, I, Mr. Jim, Charlie, uh, Ms. Page, I know this has been on this agenda item for a long time. It's been here for about six, seven months now, I think. And we started seeing some surveyors going out there and, and, and stuff. My question is, and I know Mr. Ron is not here, but once again, we need to know a timeline, what we need to do, how we need to do it, and when we're going to do it, and what it's going to cost. But we have to be better with information to give people updates on where we're going with it. Can we solve the problem or can't we solve the problem? Yes, that's what he's saying. That um, they found the survey crew out there, survey the area, the top of the to, uh, from Highway 1, and they're going to have the design in and probably for the next meeting, and they'll have a, a good cost, mm -hmm. cost on this project. Okay. That was, that's going to include some covers on West Night? Well, uh, yeah, when they get the cost price and that's everything for it. Okay. And that's, that's, that's going to be... That's when they got to go to the council to approve it. Okay. It, that's going to be at the go next meeting? Down. They got to go right here. <laughs> right here. Okay. That's all I have. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Delaney, and I seen you, you got Mr. Delaney, City Council. Yeah, yeah I, I think this is in cooperation with what you're doing on Highway 1 uh, North, Will, will alleviate a lot of the problems. And uh, I'm thinking I heard somebody say that because of the health unit in the hospital, I mean, the, the building on the, the health clinic, that, that, that the covers in that area are not big enough. You know, but like I said, I, I talked to the guy yesterday that they were over there, and they are doing the survey, you know, but in the past we've had surveys done in that when I was back on the uh, as a Paris uh, a police juror, you know, so this this has been going on for a long time, and uh, and that was like in '88 to '92, you know. So so uh, but we've been doing, we've been doing surveys and we've been doing studies and all of that, and uh, I think she was on there back, back in that time too, uh, where we did surveys, we did studies, and then. That was it, you know. So I, the reason why I'm here tonight, and because, and also invited uh, Mr. Dimmy, is because we need to keep this on the front burner. You know, uh, we had a lot of water uh, on 
Barcelona yesterday also, you know. So all of that area uh, is becoming a problem. And it's, it's not when, when we have these monsoon rains, it's like six, seven inches of rain, same way we're on the other side of the body. And we've never had these problems before. So uh, we just appreciate y'all work and, and anything, I'm talking for the mayor now, but uh, I'm here. anything we can do to help, you know, we appreciate it. But uh, one other thing about that too is, is <clears throat> and when the city and the parish need to work together, because a lot of those just drainage ditches just need to be uh, cleaned out, you know, the, the, the ends of the covers, you know, you got that much uh, covers available, and it's probably a, maybe an eight inch, 10 inch cover, you know, so if it's half full, that's going to back up some stuff too. Thank you. All right, then, Mr. Lane. Thank you for your input. All right, we're moving on to item number 12, and that's Bonnie Lane. I don't think we need to go any further on that. Besides, um, that's on St. Patrick Street. That's the block that was flooded, and it went from, the, um, I would say, uh, what that street is coming out of uh, the projects right there, Mayor? Uh, Charles Street comes out. Charles of Street place. on back to Vatican and uh, St. Patrick Street. That whole area is constantly getting the water is constantly getting higher and higher. And Bill, if you don't mind, I would also like we to do a uh, a, a survey over there to see if those covers on the state highway is large enough because that water is flowing on one side of the street as dry as can be. On that on the other side of the street, when it had four to five houses flood, and it's constantly getting worse and worse on that side. So. If you don't mind I'll make that motion that, that we ask the administration to, to survey the culvert side. All right, I second that motion. No objection? All right, moving on. Uh, item 13, uh, St. Jude Subdivision Drainage Issue Update. Mr. Dawson? I'm going to ask Mr. Grisaffi if he wants to All come right. over. He, he tracks that closer than I, I do. I figured that, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is maybe um, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Dawson, and the council committee, I guess the proactive approach that we took four months ago, working on our problem, has worked. The five houses that would have taken on water that have for years has now been uh, relieved of that. Um, they all sent me uh, documentation that they didn't, there was no water intrusion into their houses. But it was uh, a lot of planning that we did that, uh, and it was a simple cut that, uh, that worked, basically. And we, we cut off some uh, crossover culverts that was bringing water into, into the subdivision. But, but like I said, it, I, I have to contribute to the proactive approach that we've been working on this for like four months, if, and, and if you remember. <laughs> And I want to commend you because you've been active with it since you yeah. started, and you've been coming to this drainage That's board right. meeting, making your point, following up on it as a concerned citizen to make sure we do our job. That's right. Once again, thank That's you right. for coming. And, and, and uh, well, thank you all. Uh, you know, we have nobody but y'all to thank for taking care of that. So, thank you. Thank you. I think uh, one side note on that is, you know, I don't know, it's probably not the proper place, but we still have the sewer, you know, that is still an issue in St. Jude. So we, we need to move forward with, uh, I see Ken's not here, but we need to move forward with that plan to uh, move that sewer into the parish system. In the, with the city? With, yeah, with the city treating the, the discharge. Right. Anything else, Mr. Dawson? All right, moving on to item number 14, Mr. S uh, Ron Savoy, not here. Moose, you got anything for him? Yeah, um, the, the parking lots were built for the employees by the deal that's working out. That's now in use by the uh, employees by the DPW West. Great. And uh, he was stating that they were asked to look at digging out the Chatham Canal at Modest. Uh, there's two plantations that own properties that are willing to uh, sign servitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would only be able to clean out the sections of that area, not the wetlands area, if the board so wishes. And this was a re requested by the Acosta resident. And uh, he, he informed them about the public hearing and the major uh, drainage plans, and they wish to attend uh, this meeting when scheduled. Okay. 
That's no problem. You got any more for Mr. Ron? Mr. No, that's it. That's All right. It. Item number, I mean, uh, Mr. Craig Anderson, you have anything? Well, Moose saved it all, but I could say something about the grass coming on. Almost when we our first rotation, and we should be starting to um, move the next second rotation in about a week. And it's, it is, and I wanted to ask Council, uh, this is a landing question, we had asked for number five. About yes. The, uh, National end of that 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 ditch. Well, in that part, that's where they have a, a collapsed cover, and that's why we need to get with the uh, railroad and stuff on that part to see what we need to do. If we're able to dig it out or what? Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Moose Pierce. I'm good. Uh, date and time, Miss Peggy, for the next meeting. June first. Mm -hmm. All right. Five fifteen. Bill, number eight, number motion. I'll uh, move to adjourn. Second meeting adjourned.